This is the Fomemo M200. It's an 80 millimeter thermal label printer, which is operated by Bluetooth. The max width is 75 millimeters for wide format printing, but you can go up to 80 millimeters in height. Let me go ahead and open up the box to showcase you guys what is inside. So you have the printer itself, you have a user guide to get you up and running, and you also have a USB-C cable. Now this is charged by a USB-C for its internal 2600 milliamp hour battery, which is here. You can see the USB charging port is just on the right hand side. So this gives you a massive 24 hours of constant usage, but an average of two weeks on standby mode. So you can be pretty confident you're not going to run out of battery too often. So for those that are wondering what a thermal printer is, it basically works by producing an image on paper using heat, not an ink cartridge. The thermal printing process heats the thermal paper with a special dye coating that turns black when it's heated. And I'll showcase a whole load of examples. So before you use this, you need to make sure that there is a label inside. Now it does come with a standard sample label size, which is pretty small. You press the red button, you can see the sample one is in there. I'm going to use this as an example to print some labels. So I'll just pull it out a little bit, push that down. Now it won't be in the right position. I'm going to have to press the print button to get it aligned. But before I do that, I have some other sample labels that I've bought from Fomemo themselves. There's a whole host of sizes that you can get and pretty much anything you need it for, you will find the right size. So this one is 40 by 60 millimeters. It's got 130 pieces in there and this is a larger one. So this one is 70 by 80 millimeters. It's almost a square, but this is to print larger labels and designs. So the label currently inside here is the 40 by 60. This came in a three pack. I'm using one of them already. So check out the latest pricing information for all the different labels that you can buy for this. Once I've done printing some samples with that, I'm gonna put the larger one in and showcase some samples with that as well. So to do this, you basically turn it on using the power button there. So you only have two buttons at the front. Just hold that down for one second. You get a confirmation beep and you'll see it's now turned on. Now just to cover a little bit about the settings, if you just hold down the power button for a couple of seconds, you'll see the settings icon. If you press the print button there, it will switch that setting to the next available option. Single press the power button, you can see the darkness levels. You can change that all the way up to 10, which is dark, but you can even go further to 15, which is the darkest. So I will leave this on, let's say around 12. Let's go ahead, change the option to the speed. So you can set it to normal, fast, or number five, which is the fastest. So I will leave it on normal. I think if you go too fast, it might skip some of the prints and it might not come out very clear. You can also set the pager type between gap, black, or continuous. I like to leave gaps when I am printing in the labels. And then you can also power on and off. You can even restore the settings if you need to and see the firmware version on the hardware device. So let's go ahead and realign this label by just holding down the print button for a couple of seconds. There we go. It's now aligned and now I can connect it to the mobile app. So that's the next thing I want to showcase to you guys. Right, so it's very simple to connect it to the app. You have to download this app called Print Master, available for both iOS and Android. Once you open it up, you can start creating content. The first thing you need to do is hit the plus icon there at the bottom. This would allow you to set up the label that you've got connected inside the device. So this one is 40 by 60, as you can see here, width 40 millimeters. I can actually rename the label and save it for future use. So I can do 40 by 60 label. And then you have the option to do the print direction in case you want it to go sideways or you just do it vertically. I'll just do zero degrees so I can just go down in the standard orientation. Then you can also have the paper intervals. You can have it continuous, whole, die cut or black. So I will just leave it at the default die cut. Then hit the confirmation. So now I can start adding a whole bunch of things here, as you can see. So along the bottom, you have text, you have barcodes, QR codes, icons, pictures, lines, shapes, loads of things. Let's start with adding some text. So I will double tap that. This is a test print. Let me reposition this, put it in the middle. Let's add a icon. So lots of categories. 
as you can see I'll go ahead and select this lamp let's add a barcode just as an example so I can just make the width a little bit bigger let's go ahead and add some shapes just to showcase to you guys some examples of this as well and then finally finish off with a little bit of text move that towards the bottom I will change the font so there's not a whole big selection but you can also adjust the font size make it bold italic there we go now when you're ready to print the bottom right hand corner you can see there's the print icon you also have the option to save and you can do preview so this is the preview it should come out like this let's go back and then you can also check the settings just one last time if you're happy then you can go ahead and print so let me do that now you get the option to find the printer so there is a device it has picked it up I select that you hear confirmation beep and you see the Bluetooth icon is blinking and then you hit the tick on the top and it's going to start printing there you go it's printed it's made it adjustable you just snap it off so there you have it guys it looks great and the best thing about the thermal printing process is that it doesn't smudge so as soon as it comes out you, it won't wear off if you put your finger on top of it because there's no ink so that's a great thing so now let's go ahead and let's switch the label to the 70 by 80 millimeter one and start printing in a larger size Right, let's run through some of the other options that you can add onto the labels through the app. So on the bottom left there, you have something called picture. This will open up your gallery and you can add maybe your company logo or any other picture that you've taken and saved to your phone. That can also be printed. So here's an example. I've just added a template logo. As you can see here, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. So if you have your company logo and you want to create labels for your products, then this is a great way to do that. There's also a line option, so you can separate that. You can also add a timestamp with a date. So you can see, I can change the format of the date and have that listed at all times as part of a template. You can also create a time format. So I will do hours and minutes, expand that out. There we go. You can also create a form. This is basically a table. If you wanna put specific information in that, you can create some more rows, drag that down like so. This is pretty much like Microsoft Word, to be honest. I think that's just great. If you swipe to the right, you can also have optical character recognition. So if you have an image on your gallery and you want to pick out the text from that, then you can use that for that. It also has voice recognition as well. So if you speak into this, you can translate whatever you say and that will be displayed as text. So plenty of different options you can play around with. And of course, you can rotate any of the items. So if I add an icon, let's go into digital. Let's just add a neat little icon there. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So if you wanted to rotate that, you select this, click rotate 90 degrees, and you can do that. So plenty of options and it's very easy to use. It's very straightforward. Let's go ahead and print this. Make sure your printer is selected. Get the confirmation noise. You can also print multiple pages and multiple copies. It's up to you. Let's see how it comes out. So you can see the company logo because it tried to get the colors of the image. It did fade a tiny bit. Everything else that was native through the app is very clear. As you can see with the icon, it's super clear there. A little bit on the table, but overall it's not too bad. And I would definitely recommend this if you wanted to add this to your boxes or shipping parcels or anything like that, it will do an excellent job for that. So now that we've done some tests printing it, let's go ahead and print some stuff for some real life use cases. Now here's some example of uses for the label printer. 
So the first one is to send packages. So I've got the address and a barcode. So shipping labels is perfectly capable for that. And I'm going to be using this more often for this type of purpose than anything else. You can also print large, fragile, or any other large label signs that you'd need to. So it's very convenient for this. Likewise, you can create some labels for your envelopes as well. So if you wanted to post some letters, then this will create a really quick and easy way to attach labels rather than using it by hand or a pen. Or even with shipping labels, I've noticed people print out a little address on a large A4 piece of paper. They cut it and they stick it onto the envelope and that way you waste a lot of that paper. So this makes it a lot more environmentally friendly as well. If you run your own business, you can create labels for your company logos and attach them to your products when you are shipping them. And finally, you can buy labels of all shapes, colors and sizes from the Foamemo website, including round circle labels, colored labels, even name badge design labels and labels for your cables and sockets, which is another one that I have here with me now. This is the 25 by 38 millimeter white cable label, which allows me to label things like my plugs in my extension sockets, because I have a lot of these around my office, even label my equipment with the model names and numbers, like my monitor here, for example, and then just general all round cable management. So there's five really good benefits of having a thermal printer. The first one is that it operates relatively quietly. So if you're in a shared office environment, you wouldn't have to worry about disturbing too many people because it's not as loud as a conventional printer. Second, you get really good quality prints at decent speeds as well. So if you wanted to print a whole bunch of labels for whatever purpose, then you're gonna get good quality prints every time and not have to worry about reprinting too often. Number three, it's very easy to take with you anywhere. It's super light, it's super portable, it's not bulky. So this is a printer that you can have with you anywhere you like to go. So a lot of people are remote working nowadays. So if you wanted to move this into different rooms, you wouldn't have to worry about disturbing any other people in your household. So it's perfect for multiple portability options. Number four, like I showed you guys earlier, there's no smudging. So as soon as it comes out of the printer, you won't have to worry about it smudging with your fingers when you're placing it onto your items. Number five, Best of all is that it has a very low running cost because there's no ink cartridges that you need to buy continuously for this printer. It's so convenient to have around the office, especially if you need to ship parcels, attach labels to products, or just organize your life. One other use case that I've noticed this is beneficial for is if you are looking to move home, then you're gonna have a lot of boxes and you're gonna need to do a lot of packing. So to separate out what is in each box, you're going to be labeling them. And this is also perfect for that. So plenty of options and it's highly recommended. Now, the best thing is I've got a discount code for you guys, 10% off if you wanted to check this out. The normal price is around 86 pounds. They usually have some offers running. So click on the link in the description below that takes you to the phone memo website. Use my discount code that I've listed. It will give you 10% off across a whole variety of accessories, including this printer. So make sure you check it out. Hopefully you like this video guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. I do plenty of cool gadgets and accessory videos much like this, which I know you're gonna like. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of those upcoming videos that I have. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.